When, when you look at all of your work in the field, can this boom continue in farm economics? You know, it's very interesting. I was out there a couple of weeks ago presenting to a thousand farmers at an event called Top Producer, where mm -hmm. they actually give awards to the top producers. And the one takeaway that uh, I left with was that the farmers have created so much wealth over the last five years that even if they have a bad year this year or a bad year next year, they're in a position now where right. they can weather it. Whereas okay, well, five years ago, I love how you say that. that. Look at the quote right here, folks. Uh, note of the day. Uh, farmers seem less surprised by the wealth they've created and now have accepted higher incomes as a new normal. That scares me no end. Land values and rent, all we need is a Japanese to come in and start buying land. Well, I think the issue in farmland is uh, land doesn't come up for, for sale very often because a farmer has to retire in order to sell his land. And so supply is the issue. So it's not like we've got lots of land out there for sale mm. and therefore people from Wall Street or people from Japan can buy. There just isn't very much land for sale. You sound like Jimmy Stewart in a movie from years and years ago. Let's look at this great chart from the Bloomberg from the USDA. 1929 to 2012 farm income. You can see the depression and then you can see World War II. There's that food spike in the 70s, and then it got a little difficult. Yeah. It's really been better for the last six years, hasn't it? Yeah, really since the advent of ethanol. I mean, if you go back seven or eight years ago, ethanol consumed about 10% of our corn. Now we're looking at ethanol consuming <clears throat> about 40% of our corn. So you have a new source of demand out there that wasn't there a decade ago. And, and so that's... you just keep the buys on John Deere? You just say buy and you just go with it, right? Uh, on top of that, you look at what's happening in China. I read a very <clears throat> interesting statistic recently. China's consumption of crops overall between 2000 and 2010 grew 25% but their consumption of beans grew 147%. Mm. So we're seeing a switching of diets, right? So that's also very yeah. positive for our U.S. farmers. Can you come back for a longer time? Sure. Next time. Thank you so much.